Hello, my name is Joshua Rudd with Rudd's Home Farm, and today we're going to talk about some starter kits to get you grown with hydroponics. Stay tuned to find out more. So there are several ways to start with hydroponics. Today I'll talk about a DIY version, a starter kit version that you can buy, and the system that I use back here. So let's start off with the DIY version. This is broccoli, and this setup will cost you about $80, and it's just because you're just buying items in bulk. So pretty much you're going to buy um, two inch net pots right here. Here, I'll pull the plant up for you. You see how lovely that looks? Okay, so you're gonna need this net pot to hold the, thing, to hold the plant. You're going to need the rock wool, which is probably hard to see, but it's the grow medium that's in there. And you want clay pebbles up top to shield the grow medium from light. Get that back right on in there. And those, those things, and you need, of course, need the hydroponic solution. So those things all together will run you about $80, but with that setup, it's repeatable and you can make at least 50 different containers if you just do that. Um, this is just a Metamucil container with a plastic top. Uh, I cut a two inch hole. Just just cut a two inch hole with my little hole saw. Cut a two inch hole right there. This thing fits in there nice and, nice and easy. So real simple, real easy to do, basic setup. Um, I really highly, highly recommend, you know, if you want to try this out, you know, and do it yourself and you kind of like doing things yourself. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying uh, any sort of net pots or anything else DIY because these are these are just such a good value. They're reusable hundreds of times. Uh, the rock wool is just a great value and it's a perfect grow medium for your seeds and plants. You don't want to be messing with like plant failures and, you know, using all that stuff, I mean, getting into hydroponics is easy if you have the right tools. And so invest in hydroponics if you plan on doing it and get some of the right tools and then use your own containers to save a little bit of extra. All of these items here I use, I use the, the net pots, the grow mediums that I really trust in and really highly recommend all these products that I'm going to link below in the description. All the all the things that I'm talking about are below in the description. And you can also check out my website at rudhomesfarm.com, also in the description. This is another version of a hydroponic container. Uh, this is basil, it smells delicious. Uh, this is some extra mylar I have around, whoops. And pretty much you can just, you see all those roots in there? That looks gorgeous. Uh, once again, I just, this is, this is this, this container is from the Dollar Tree. I think it's half a gallon, so you don't have to replace it that often. And you know, there's your roots, beautiful. And you know, every time you get a DIY container, you always wanna make sure you shield the nutrients from light to make sure algae doesn't grow on your roots and possibly throw off your balance of your hydrogen, your uh, nutrient solution. So this can work perfect in a windowsill, inside, outside. There's pretty much nowhere where you can't put this. I use this in my grow setups because, you know, I just want to, you know, I want to try different containers to see what I like. I'm always experimenting and see if I like the DIY containers, my other setup that I use. And I'm always on the lookout for cool new ways to grow hydroponics. This is a really cool uh, passion of mine, growing stuff in water, growing food, growing vegetables at home. It's a really good passion and it's something that you should get into. It's easy, simple, and pretty cheap. So once again, this is uh, with DIY containers and the rest of the items you just buy on the links below. This is a uh, sunburnt cucumber. I gave it too much light. So pretty much uh, it's, it's kind of like sun tanning for a human being, right? You, when you go out in the sun, it's like you can feel the intense heat and you're like, ooh man, I shouldn't be out here so long. But like if you're in like a tanning bed with that ultraviolet light on your skin, then you may not notice that you might be given way too much UV to your, your skin. It's kind of like how plants respond. It's like, man, I thought I was giving some love to my plants, but too much light. I had to move the lights away. So once it, it's now growing new leaves that are not sunburnt and we're gonna see how this grows. 
So once again, DIY containers. You can grow anything in containers. Here's that root ball if you want to check it out. Uh-oh. Get back in there. The roots smell like cucumbers. That's really weird. So now we're going to talk about starter packs. So these starter packs have all, if not most, of everything you need to begin your hydroponic journey. So we're going to start with this kit here. The salad box from Hydrofarm is ideal for growing a small, soil-free garden of salad greens and other plants indoors or outdoors with almost zero maintenance. It is a passive hydroponic system based on the research of academic horticulturist B.A. Kratke. Using the salad box is clean and easy. It uses no electricity at all, no air pumps or water pumps needed. It grows greens and lettuce up to 30% faster than soil. Use it indoors with grow lights or outdoors in natural light. This one is initial investment of $45, $46 for one and $86 for two. I would recommend you getting two. You can save about $6 buying two and it's just, I almost, I guarantee that you will love hydroponics so much that you will just want to keep growing. And so you might as well just save the $6 and get two. Now this one's good for an indoor, outdoor, and even a near window, bay window, kitchen, kitchen window. You know, very good setup for this. Uh, it comes with, uh, you know, the root wrap. It comes with the net pot. It comes with an easy fill, easy refill hydroponic solution where you could like just keep keep the hydroponic solution full and not monitor. It's pretty hands free. I do recommend once you use up the root root wraps that you use the rock wools, or if you're not willing to germinate seeds in potting soil and then wrap the roots, which is what you need to do, then I would recommend also buying rock wool. If you're gonna get into hydroponics, like rock wool is kind of like the item that you're gonna need to have on hand on a regular basis. So just, if you're getting in hydroponics, just get the 1.5 inch rock wool starter plugs. They're always gonna be handy and you're always gonna need them. So that's that. I highly recommend this if you just wanna just do have this a mobile system, indoor, outdoor, system that is just simple and something you could try out. The second system here is only $100. This is an all-in-one version where you only buy seeds. And I recommend lettuce, butter crunch, or romaine varieties. Those will, even though they're head lettuce, if you cut the leaves before they're able to form a head, then you can just use a cut and come method. And they're just, I love the taste of butter crunch lettuce. Um, it already comes with a grow light so you can port move this thing anywhere it's preferably indoors so it can be placed on the kitchen counter you can have lettuce ready to just slice and eat on your table right from the kitchen counter you know you can put it in your bedroom you can put it in you know anywhere spare room i i it's the light automatically cycles on and off to simulate the sun and it is an absolute great value for the cost it would because it includes the LED grow light. I highly recommend this is my highest recommendation for this starter kit. It's a great product to start beginning with hydroponics. Uh, if you just want to just want to have something all ready for you, it comes with germinating kits. It comes with starter plugs. It comes with the net pots, the hydroponic solution, everything you need. You just got to buy seeds. So I highly recommend this to give this a try if you just want to dip and dabble or even have even add to your system if you just want to have herbs right on hand in your kitchen and not have to worry about coming down to your basement in this whole giant setup like i have here then you, this could set on a kitchen counter you can have basil cilantro uh green onion you know all the herbs that you like mint you can have it all right there in your kitchen, ready to go, ready to eat, and it's just a super easy system that takes care of itself. All you have to do is just maintain the this hydroponic solution and monitor your plants. That's It's real easy. All right, so now we're gonna talk about my setup. My setup costs $225 to make, plus shelving and grow lights. Uh, for serious kind of hydroponic people who are just kind of like wanting to ramp up from the beginner stage of just trying it out, I highly recommend using the crack key method just to, as an intermediate for moving from beginner to intermediate. And uh, this is a setup I use. Uh, I got a video showing me how I make my DIY trays. 
Um, I love this uh, the setup because it um, you, you when you buy this two hundred twenty five dollars, you get a lot of the same items, so you can you know replicate the system. I love uniformity. I love having the same trays over and over. It's like I in this four foot by two foot section, I can grow four different trays and each of those trays can have up to 32 plants. And so that's like 128 separate different plants possible for me to grow within a four foot by two foot radius and grown vertically. So I have one, two, three different shelves that I can use to grow with hydroponics. So that's a lot of plants you can just grow in that small space. Um, this is definitely the re method that I use and I recommend and I, I'm not really, I don't really see an upgrade for this except for maybe trying out other types of systems besides Crack Key. Um, like Nutrient Film, Ebb and Flow and stuff like that. Those would be something I might dip and dabble to but this is probably the top of the line that you're gonna be using for Crack Key. Um, I like these trays because they're multi-purpose, right? So, let's get this. <clears throat> These 10 by 20 trays could be used if you wanna use potting soil. You can put, you can plant your plants in here and it can catch all the debris. Um, it could be used for microgreens if you like to grow microgreens. Very durable. This is like, this is kind of ridiculously how, how good of a value this is. So I highly recommend buying, um, buying this the links in the description for everything I have so pretty much just $225 will get you all of this um, like 10 of these um, you're gonna get 10 of these little plates so you can make pretty much two rows you get the that includes the hydroponic nutrients the rock wool everything you need to get started uh, I'll organize everything down in the below so you can just click and buy uh, I really highly recommend getting this system I love this system and I'm continuing to prove it every day and I just love that I can grow anything. I got celery over here. I never grew, grew celery before, much less in hydroponics. I got kale here. I got butter crunch lettuce here and I got a salad mix here. I got strawberries up here and I'm growing lavender over here, you know. Uh, I had an epic fail with lavender before in potting soil, so I'm trying with hydroponics now. Love this system. So let me know in the comment section if you like this video and what type you will use. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.